Hello, hello, hello. We are today solving uh, data, uh, data structure and algorithm problems which are asked in interviews. So we are solving reverse the array question which has been asked in a uh, few company interviews. And I'm solving this on Coding Ninjas. And uh, if you want to read about this problem in English, Hindi and in English, which is a combination of English and Hindi, uh, the detailed explanation for the code will be provided below. Uh, like uh, in a link description in, in a description link below and uh, yeah if you want to watch the same video which uh, uh, I'm making in English uh, of a Hindi version that would also be linked in the description below so if you are comfortable in English you can watch this video but if you are comfortable in Hindi and you want, want to learn about this in Hindi and watch the same video in Hindi you can watch it the link will be in the descriptions so let's go ahead and understand the question so we have array we are given an array so let me uh, like uh, tell you how a function is structured so this is a name of a function this is a return type so we don't have to return something we have to perform a function on an array but we don't have to return anything so void is the we have we don't have to return anything this is the name of a function this can be anything I can change this but I, for the sake of the video and for the sake of this IDE I won't change it then uh, in uh, function we are passing an array uh, or vector so diff the difference between a vector and an array is array uh, uh, is um, is a fixed size like if we assign an array of 10 so the size of an array would be 10 but for vector it increases so this is a very lay, uh, like a very layman explanation for array and vector but vector is a sort of array but uh, we use vector because uh, vector uh, in vector we can increase the space and all and uh, this m is a position which is given in question so what is this m what is this array let's understand so we, uh, i'm using a pen time for pen tab for the first time so bear with me i'm very new to this so let's understand so um, where so this array we are given so one two three four five six this is given then what what question says question says that we have uh, m m which is equals to three so the one indexing thing if you know one indexing what is the one indexing so one indexing is nothing but uh, the element would start from one then two then three then four and so on like we count one two three four right but if you have a, like a, ever if you have ever coded anything so we always start from zeroth index so what is zero in index we start from zero one two three and four so uh, we are saying that this array start from zeroth index so this element is at zero then this is at one then this is at two this is at uh, the third is at three the fourth is at uh, so zero one two three and four so yeah so this is at zero the second is at one the third is at two the fourth is at actually three and the fifth is at four so basically behind like one element the index is actually for this question this is zero this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five so it is saying that we have to start from m index which is zero one two three from here from fourth index leaving this fourth index like leaving this till this we don't have to change anything from here we have to reverse after three so fourth and fifth index so we have to reverse this we have to do this we have to take six at the position of five and we have to shift uh, make, uh, make five at uh, six we have to shift this five at six and six at five we have to swap the position basically so as you can see the output is one two three four this is not changed after this index this is swapped so this is a easy question as we say i will like uh, tell you how we can do this very easily so what we can do is let's code and let's come here okay how i can change this 
Oh, I can change it. Okay, I'll point up. Okay, so I will come here. What I will say, okay, let's say uh, um, we have to uh, change five, fifth position at six, then sixth position, uh, sixth, uh, the element six at five position and the element five at sixth position, right? So we don't have to change anything from here. So as we know from here to here, that is M, like M index, zero, one, two, three. So we don't have to change. So in another word, what we are saying, we are saying that swap this uh, M plus one position and the whole array is, is of size. If one index is there, then it is of size array dot size. If we are talking about one indexing, right? Okay. So if we are talking about one indexing, then this, but we are like starting from zero. So it would be array dot size and then minus one because one element before. So what we are seeing in another word that, okay, take this one plus M plus one th index, the M1 M plus one th index because still here it is M. This is M plus one th index and this is the last index. So we are saying this is array size minus one. So we are saying swap this at this position and this at this position. Okay. I hope you understand. Like you understood this. So let's ahead and go ahead and code. So we will go ahead and take our cursor. So what we can say, we can make a two pointer. We can say start from M. We can say start or left. Let's say start for sake of being very simple and understanding. So we'll start from M plus one index. Okay, we, have, we saw that in our explanation. We'll still say go till end. And what was the end? End was array dot size minus one to minus one. So, okay. Then we will check, okay, while uh, start is less than end. So what we have to do, we have to swap the position. So all we can do is go ahead and say swap. And we will say what we have to swap, we have to swap array of start, which is our uh, M plus one at index and we have to swap it with end. Okay, so we have to swap it. And uh, let's say if we are here at uh, one plus this index, let's say we are here and we are here and we have to swap. So we have to take one step here. So it will go plus plus, right? And we have to take one step here. So it will go minus minus. So that's what we have to do. We have to just go ahead and say uh, start plus plus and uh, end minus minus. That's it. That's our code. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Six line of code. Let's run it and let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, it passed all the test cases. See? So every test case is, has been passed. So this is how we can reverse the array. So if you want to uh, know about this, go ahead and read about this and uh, this code in uh, like uh, in the English or English, you can. Uh, there is a link in description and if you want uh, the same video in Hindi, the link is in description. I will see you in the next video.